There's a new crop brewing in the area. News 18 video journalist Nate Shute reports it takes more than just a farmer to bring it from the field to the tap. Cheers! Cheers. It's the final payoff after months of work, taking this crop and making it into something you can fill your glass with, something good to the last drop. It has the hoppy flavor, but it's a smooth transition in. It all started months ago when Hupnoxious Farms planted these hops in a field outside West Lafayette. The crop is most commonly grown in the Pacific Northwest. There's another one. With only a handful of farms operating in Indiana. As News 18 already reported, Hubnoxious harvested their first crop last month. It's all kind of one big experiment, but a lot of fun. It's been an experiment for these farmers and for brewmaster Chris Johnson at People's Brewing. Johnson got 80 pounds of the crop, enough to brew just 40 kegs of beer, called Local Farmer Harvest Ale. He's used to using dried processed hops rather than a fresh crop picked less than 24 hours earlier. We brought him in on a Sunday night, we brewed with him on a Monday, and uh, you get a, a little bit different character out of the beer. Then, for the next four weeks, it was mostly a waiting game. The process yielded a balanced beer, not too bitter and not too sweet. Johnson says he's looking forward to using more fresh hops again and also trying new varietals. It's nice to have some local ingredients to play with. And like I said, they're going to be uh, a little bit different, but different is good. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing what kind of flavors we can get out of Indiana. Both brewer and farmer say it's an exciting process to learn from one another. Not having much of a background in brewing, it is interesting to taste the smells that I smelled in our field. It's just neat to actually see what we've done come to fruition. Back her up. And having it all happening in their backyard makes that beer taste even better. And that's something worth toasting. You're a craftsman. Reporting in Lafayette, Nate Chute, News 18.